The Amiria Madrasa, a 500-year-old complex containing a mosque, a religious school, and the private living quarters of the Tahirid Sultan Amir in the town of Radar in southern Yemen, is one of the richest, most complex examples of formal Islamic architecture in the world today. Courtyards, galleries, teaching and prayer rooms stretching over three floors, yet its freshness and beauty belie the fact that just 25 years ago it was a crumbling ruin. It would have remained like this had not archaeologist Dr. Selma Al-Radi stumbled upon the building in 1982. I went down there and I took one look at this building and I said, this can't possibly fall down, you know, it's just not possible. We have to save this thing. Dr. Al-Radi managed to raise the funds needed from the Dutch and Yemen governments. Many walls needed rebuilding and the madrasa's badly cracked roof, originally protected by a special waterproof mortar known as kadad, was leaking. This presented a special challenge. Kadad had been used for centuries, but abandoned with the advent of cement. No one could remember exactly how it was made, so an ancient technique had to be relearnt through painstaking trial and error. Intricate carved stucco decorations were reconstructed using the fragments and designs that were still intact. In the prayer hall, 660 square meters of stucco panelling had disappeared beneath centuries of gypsum and lime washes. One of the last and most spectacular stages of the Amiria project was the restoration of ancient wall paintings on the domes and upper walls of the prayer hall. But the benefits of the restoration work went beyond the building itself. The 25 years of painstaking work trained builders and conservators in traditional techniques, an invaluable legacy for Yemen as a whole.